know, when it comes to health and fitness, our next guest literally wrote the book, or books, to help us shred the extra weight and eat clean. Those books, by the way, many of them have ended up at the top of the New York Times bestseller list, and his latest book is his first work of fiction, a mystery thriller, Dr. Ian Smith. Welcome back to Houston Thanks, Life. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. Good Great to see, to see, see you. I haven't been here in a while. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you, and <laughs> yeah. we will get to some fall fitness tips sure. a little later on, but let's talk about this book. It's fiction, why? Why did yeah. you change course like this? I've been writing this book for over 25 years. Really? Yeah, so The Ancient Nine is based on my experiences in one of Harvard's secret societies as an undergrad. Uh, and as a senior, I knew I wanted to tell this story. So the Harvard secret societies, or final clubs, started in the 1700s, there are nine of them, uh, and they've had the most famous members you can imagine, Presidents Kennedy, Roosevelt, Franklin Teddy, uh, Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr., the Supreme Court Justice, T.S. Eliot, the poet, you name it. And my club, the Delphic, uh, Jack Lemon, the Aga Khan, Matt Damon was in the year behind nice. me, so he's a member of the club. So these clubs are very old, very historic, but I wanted to tell this story because they're also very mysterious. So there are a lot of secrets and treasures buried in these huge mansions around Harvard Square um, of these clubhouses. And this story is about a student who disappears in 1927 and two very famous books at Harvard. One was in the private library of King James I, this is all true, and the other book is the last book remaining of the John Harvard collection because all of his other books burned in the fire on the university in the 1700s. One book remained because a student had taken it out of the library and hadn't returned it in time. So, so there's wow. benefits to not returning. <laughs> That's right. Book. All librarians out there, right? <laughs> I wonder if they waived the fees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They probably paid him because, gee, see, they saved right. the book. But, but anyway, so The Ancient Nine is about a secret society within a secret society. So The Ancient Nine is a group of powerful men who are trying to protect the secrets that are related to this book and buried inside the club mansion. And, you know, when I hear secret society, I think, like, something bad is going on. Well, things happen, and you know, okay. this is a, things happen that are not not horrible, but there's some secrets that that are going on, and this is the first time anyone's actually written about these secret societies extensively in a book. So I'm kind of stepping out a little bit and talking about the process of how we get in uh, and what happens once you get in. But the crazy thing is, for example, I myself am the character. It's very autobiographical. In the middle of the night, an envelope got slipped under my door in my room. It just had my name and room number on it, no postage, no return address, and it invited me to this cocktail party. It said the president and members of the Delphi Club invite you to a cocktail party at some swanky address, uh, and that was my initiation, my, my beginning of the process of joining the club. And That's so intriguing. Had you heard about the Secret Society never, before? Never heard of it, and when I first got the invite, I thought it was just a waste. I was like, D Delphi Club, cocktail party, what is that? Right. And then I was in the locker room, I played basketball, and the older guys on the team, they were saying, this is punch season, which means this is the time they're starting to recruit people for the Secret Societies, and I was like, oh my goodness, I got an invitation to this thing. So I went back to the room, saw it, and went to this cocktail so party. very similar maybe to like a sorority fraternity kind of a thing? Yeah, it, yeah, it is, but you know, it's kind of very elevated. I mean, you know, they have swanky affairs. You know, you gotta wear a tie and a coat. We have a ballroom in the mansion. We have a staff. It's just very kind of another era. Uh, and it was all male for a long time. Uh, and now the university is trying to get them to either disband or open up and allow more women mm -hmm. or more ethnic minorities, you know, to get into these clubs. Yep. Fantastic read. Okay, so we'll have to read the book if yep. you want to know all the details. But in the meantime, you were appointed by President Obama to the President's Council on Fitness. This is just one of the many prestigious uh, appointments that you've had during your career. Let's talk a little bit about fall fitness tips because in the summer we hear a lot about fitness, also the holidays, but this is a time of year that is often ignored by a folks. Absolutely. The first thing you do is switch your plates. And so, you know, go from an entree sized plate to a, a salad, salad plate yes. and leave a rim an inch around of, of empty space, that will reduce your portion size, number one. But number two, your stomach will adjust to eating smaller portions over the course of six to eight days. And you don't need to eat as much as those No, 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 and um, people say, well, I'm gonna be hungry. Well, if you're gonna be hungry, snack. 150 calories or less, make sure your snacks are full of protein and fiber. And Especially. you also well, I was just no going to say, especially in Houston where portions are so big, Very large. whenever I have out-of-town visitors, they're like, holy cow, the food Everything is big in Texas. Yeah, <laughs> including yeah. our hair. Okay, <laughs> so um, you also say interval training. Change that up. Yeah, yeah, change it up. Because if you just do steady-state exercise where you're just walking for 30 minutes at the same pace, maybe the same slope on a treadmill, you're not getting a full workout in. Instead, do intervals, periods of high exertion with periods of either low exertion or rest, alternate between the two, shorter period of time. How many times a week? About three times a week. Okay. And bringing the workout home is always Oh, yeah, option. yeah. So I always say, listen, three things that can be very helpful. A kettlebell, 
a resistance band, and a medicine ball. Three exercises you can do at home. You can, you can do probably 30 things with these things, but you say, I don't want to go to the gym. Hey, go downstairs and do it. I love it. Great stuff. And the Ancient Nine, by the way, is available in bookstores now. And for more information, just head over to DrIansmith.com. Always great to see you. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. And look, by the way, for the Ancient Nine Facebook page, because you can win 2500 bucks if you can find the hidden clue inside the book. That's How's right. that for a good That's season? right. Go to the Facebook page. Right. <laughs> great to see you, Dr. Thanks. Smith. Thanks.